Oh, here we go. Viva Las Vegas 2025. Oh, no. We haven't got long. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. A wasteland. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. Another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Gambling. Gambling never changes. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? Matthew Perry, please, we can talk this out. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Bethesda Softworks presents. An Obsidian Entertainment production. That bit's huge. Fallout New Vegas. Let's go. Oh, also, congratulations on the caravan pack. Do I just go Oppenheimer? John Oppenheimer. It can't be... <laughs> we're not going to be Hercules' bigger cousin. We're going to be an average Joe for strength. On perception, we're a wary trout. For endurance, we're tough as nails. Uh, fun little tidbit um, for Fallout New Vegas. There's almost no point in setting your endurance below six. And you'll see why with a thing later. Uh, for charisma, unfortunately, uh, Oppenheimer's not going to be coming across too too well in this world. But he is going to have, like, amazing speech. Uh, now, he's a bit of a smarty pants, though. We're going to give him smarty pants intelligence. For agility, he's cat-like. We're going to give Oppenheimer cat-like. He's got, he's got some reflexes when it matters, okay? And the most important stat of all, that is luck. Oppenheimer is a 21 leaf clover. Most important stat in the game. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. <laughs> what does well, that mean? <laughs> is he commented on my charisma? I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Demolish. Night. Green. Bandit. Swiss cheese is here for some reason. Mother. Human shield, Jesus Christ. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Okay, there's a very particular way I want to play this. Strongly agree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, no opinion. Tell me what you see. I mean, it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be a chemical reaction here. Last one. And that's obviously two bears high-fiving. We are going to be picking energy weapons. We are going to be picking the repair stat. And we are going to be picking speech off the bat. We are going to be trying to resolve as many situations as we possibly can peacefully. However, should the need for conflict arise, we are going to kill them as violently as humanly possible. Uh, the main one we need is built to destroy. All weapons have plus 3% chance to critically hit. The second one we need is skilled. This seems really bad, but just wait a moment, okay? Take everything we can follow doc mitchell to the exit just just a second doc okay we have the hat which is important hardcore mode fall in new vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game uh, obviously yes i do play hardcore 
Oh, you found a, a radio signal. It's like a jazzy undercurrent in it. We'll check that out later. Yeah, we'll, we'll check that out later, too. We'll check that out later. All the DLC just activates the moment you step into the world. I think one of them hasn't loaded yet. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? He, he's the one who dug us out of the grave. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. How does this guy lie low? Town, might be able to help you out with Good that. question. Happy trails. Happy trails, Victor. Happy trails. Okay, so... Welcome to the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, we need to get... Here. I gotta say hi to Easy Pete while we're here, too. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? <laughs> I just I just need to get this out of my system, okay? <laughs> Bastard. Bastard. <laughs> Stop. I could just let him live. He's saying hey to his children. Howdy. <laughs> Look at me. It, it it is significantly tanking the frame rate as well for them oh. to exist. Hello. What in so sorry, sorry. Bastard. We've been vilified. Holy shit! <laughs> hey, welcome to level two. Let's reload the quick save. We'll leave, we'll leave Pete in peace. Very important pickup. Which we need. The snow globe for good springs. Limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. Okay, so this sign can't, thankfully can't stop us. Because we can't read. Uh, before you venture deep into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Let's click rebuild character. We're going to quickly assign our special stats w again. We're going to pick our tag skills again. Yep, tag skills are already selected. So we're going to pick built to destroy. We're going to pick fast shot. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% faster, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Finish travel onward. Even when you lose the skilled trait, it still keeps the skill point buff. And what it actually does is it removes it from here. So now you get free skill points with no downside. So we just got an extra five in every stat in the game. And uh, we're going to need those stats, to be honest, because we, we have a long way to go and it's very dangerous terrain. Uh, we have to fight Kazdors, which are one of the worst enemies in the entire game. Okay. Okay, well, welcome to Vats. We're, we're gonna need to get quite lucky with this. Just bla blast their wings off a bit. Oh, thank God we injured him. So that's the first fight, and we're almost dead. You need to be careful. <laughs> It's dangerous out here. Oh, gee, I hadn't noticed. Thanks, Victor. Okay, now welcome to Deck Claw Country. Which is arguably worse. We just need to get over the mountain valley. That's bad. Okay. This, this may be it for Oppenheimer. Ooh. No, he's got too much armor. I blew off my leg. Oh my god! This is just a young one! Come on, you bastard! Why won't he stagger? <laughs> Armor's about to give way! I'm out of shotgun ammo! No, it's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! One we can do! <laughs> one we why did it quick save here? Why did it? <laughs> no! My head is injured. That's a that's a different one. Okay, I've got a different idea. Get in the vault 19. Where's the entrance? Where's the YouTube entrance? <laughs> okay. So the problem becomes when we leave. But if enough time passes, it m they might reset. I we get to talk to these guys. Uh, most people may not have ever even encountered these NPCs, or they might have been hostile off the bat. Uh, these are part of the powder gangers. You're not one of us. What do you want? We got any work. 
If you can find a way to cut off access to the sulfur in the caves below the vault, I've got some caps waiting for you. This seems like a good first job for Oppenheimer in the world. We might as well do a bit of a side mission because, like, I think if I if I go up here even, yeah, he's he's still hungry. He's still hungry. <laughs> Get some uh, pre-war business wear. You know, re really start looking uh, at the part. Perfect. Door to the living quarters. <laughs> yeah, be vigilant, Oppenheimer. Be vigilant. I'm gonna reload. I, I broke two limbs. I got. We got it. We gotta get a bit of a, a better start here. There we go. Worked out a bit better. Uh, because we're level two, I want forty-five in repair because that's gonna be for my, our perk. I think outside of that, I think I just want energy weapons up. So this is gonna get us the light touch perk. Heavy armor isn't just your thing, so you've learned to customize light armor for maximum benefit. While wearing light armor, you gain plus five critical hit chance. Uh, so we're just stacking as much critical hit chance as humanly possible, is how we're trying to build the character right now. And you know, I should really have my armor on and not like my dress suit. <laughs> that might that might help me here. Ooh. Star bottle cap. That's, that's going to be important later. Now here's the sulfur. You must have science of at least 40. <laughs> Oh, embarrassing for Oppenheimer. We're not gonna be able to do it yet. He studied bombs, not sulfur. Okay, this is this is gonna get real messy here. This is gonna get real bad. Okay, we're taking him out. Uh, I'm gonna need that leg more than my arm. That means we're gonna have a broken arm until we reach Vegas now. <laughs> no! Oh, just, just. That's a little too injured. That's a little too injured. Uh, well, I could take this moment to get the science I need. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. We have enough science now. <laughs> Our head might be broken, but we got there. I need 40 in science, and then I need to pump more into energy weapons. Up you to 30. Uh, we need rapid reload. Makes all of your weapon reloads 25% faster than normal. Just a really handy perk in general. The crystals on this rock seem to indicate a pocket of potassium nearby. Some strategically placed C4 could be enough to destroy both the cave and the vault. So you can plant enough to just destroy the vault as well. There's... There's no real need to do that. We're gonna plant just enough to destroy the caves. <laughs> no! I need science just to investigate it. Okay, we'll come back. We're gonna have a real rough headache. If I get outside, right, I can travel back to Doc Mitchell and he can patch us up. And then I can fast travel back here. Stop breaking my limbs! Why? <laughs> I know why that second one hurt me. We're free. Doc! Doc, please help us. We're <laughs> so hurt. Okay, well, we, we survived the vault. Well, the game wants us to go back that way, but we're, we're gonna keep making our way back up. We're not really interested in fighting yet. There's nothing really of note in there that we... Okay, well, I guess we're going in. Wait, he's got a laser RCW already. Hold... Okay, that's actually really scary. Get him, John. Like, that's a... 800 cap lever action shotgun. Thank God, he's, ha he's having a... Oh, oh. My god, no, 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 If I can land a direct hit. Yeah. 
It's it's not hurting him. <laughs> How many flamethrowers do you have? Yeah, let me, let me take your head. This this is this is an item that will help us later. We've jumped to like an area that like you should like you'd probably be about like level 15 by the time you get here or something. You'd be quite a bit on. What level are we now? Um, four. That's because we're trying to get our start and build together. This is all set up for the for how we actually want to play. The main difficulty now is going to be surviving an encounter up here in the hills. Because basically, there's a guy with a really strong weapon that we want. Okay, you see that burst that was just fired? That's the weapon we want. Oh no! Dude, dude's just got a plasma rifle. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. That'll help us. That's it there. Okay, I, I need to take that guy out. He's injured. Okay, that, that that's really good. Oh, God! No! Oh, he hit us with the weapon! No, it's so powerful! Oh, you're right here. Oh, that's a good crit! Go, 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 go! I'm out of ammo! I'm out! <laughs> Give us the gun! Pick it up! Go, 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 go! Hang on, he's got, he's got, he probably has some ammo on him. Perfect. And we're gonna take his cowboy hat, too. Uh, we do not have the energy weapon energy weapon skill required just yet to wield this properly but we will in a level or two he's given up all right so this is perfect because now i can i can demonstrate this weapon's power if it hits <laughs> hang on we don't have much ammo we don't have much ammo and my arm is broken you have to remember That's one. That's two. It's pretty good. Okay, so now we need to pump up energy weapons so that we can use this. We need at least 75 energy weapons. Uh, another pit stop that's um, very important and just dear to my heart. Uh, we need to go inside uh, the old Mormon fort. Uh, meet the followers of the apocalypse, the lovely faction. We're not we're interested in them right now though. Uh, but we are interested in going up here. There's another snow globe. I'm gonna steal his lunchbox. Uh, next up is the Van Graffs. Come to Mick and Ralph's for <laughs> he's he's gone. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the post-apocalypse. Elvis impersonator still going strong. Mr. Soren, please get to the oh. point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and so I have decided to wish Never break faith with the oh. Van Graffs, Mr. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. <laughs> See you later, bud. Oh, welcome to our suppliers. Can I just... Excuse me, I, I need to use the restroom. I do. Just uh, one more from the cabinet. There we go. Oh, I'll give you 200 caps for that. That looks like some of the bottles we got in stock. We're watching. Is that so? You know, I like this one. I think it'll take a few plasma grenades to get myself started. We're watching you closely. <laughs> We're now over encumbered. Uh, after all of that, we now have like 163 ammo for this. And this gun will pretty much one shot kill all of the grunts. So just to demonstrate. Uh, next, we're going to win the casino. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Uh, Oppenheimer is a gambling man, you know, and he's willing to risk it all. And he considers himself quite lucky. It's 21. You win 400 chips. Uh, that's just 20 off the bat. You win 200 chips. Uh, that's just 21. Uh, I'm going to double down. That's another 21. If I double down for a 2, I actually might get it. An ace. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, they're giving us a complimentary whiskey. And a dapper gambler hat. Which we are absolutely going to wear. This is Oppenheimer's actual hat now. Look at this. Double down for two. Thank you. <laughs> it's like wizardry. <laughs> it's 21 again. You know, getting a lot of 21s, aren't we? You've reached the jackpot limit, but feel free to explore the other services here at the Atomic Wrangler. You've now been banned from gambling at the casino. Yep. There we go. 6,000 caps. I've got the dapper gambler suit now as well. Actually Oppenheimer. Are you shooting me? Oh, you're shooting him. Al allow me. I think we got him. Uh, out of curiosity, how much damage does this do if I was to shoot him? A two shot on these guys is pretty good. <laughs> Again, we're level five. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the game. Trespassers will be shot. I'll submit to the credit check. So you just need to have 2,000 caps. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Which we absolutely do from all our preparation. Welcome to Vegas. Looking for a good time? I'm good, thank you. I've already found the gambling tables. It's time to play some more blackjack. Wow, what a start. Let's take a 20. If I double down, can I get a 5? Wow, thank you. That's another 21. Well, the cards have been muted. Why have the cards been muted? Oh, there we go, all at once. Oppenheimer is winning big tonight. Look, like, listen to everyone clapping for him in the background, too. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. There are 10,000 bottle caps at it. Uh, let's head to the next casino. Oh, I'm over and covered again because of all the weapons. <laughs> Walking at the same speed as the NPCs. It's just more cinematic this way, you know? Oh, <laughs> shit, crap! I'm surprised it took that long for our first crash. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is in your scavenger hunt across the south of the Mojave Wasteland, you're supposed to try and find clues to lead you to the identity of who shot you. Uh, but because we've just walked all the way to Vegas, the hey, quest hey, will so probably just update here and tell you, hey, he's here. Yep, there he is. <laughs> so we, we just completed the, like, a significant portion of the main quest. But crucially... We now have enough skill points to wield our energy weapon. And now we need to put points into speech. Uh, the next perk on our list is Bloody Mess. With the Bloody Mess perk, characters and creatures you kill will often explode into a red, gut-ridden, eyeball-strewed paste. And you'll do 5% extra damage with all weapons. Pretty good. There is a reason I should add that we're doing all this. We're not just gambling for the sake of it. Yep, yeah, this, this is actually, like, this is necessary. For us to get our character to where we want. He's just a gambling addict. Double down. <laughs> he beat Blackjack. <laughs> Thing is, we gotta keep going still. He did what to Jack Black? <laughs> Gonna be in trouble come the Minecraft movie. Double down. <laughs> yes! Yeah, we've been banned. <laughs> we've been banned. Okay, pal, you've had enough. That's another 11. Oh no! No, I don't think I saved it that time. Okay, we'll, we'll simply win again. Double down. It's time for gambling two. Okay, we've been panned. Okay, pal, you've had enough. So, we're now up to 26,000 chips. Let's go to the next casino. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my hotel suite here. Just to put some shit away. Quest completed, big winner of the tops. Hey, buddy? You need something in my room? You dig this crazy scene or what? This this is my room. Get get out of here. Are you good? Ring a ding, baby. Okay, he's busy. <sighs> One more time from the top. Oh, we, we might have a bit of a rougher time here. That's a double down. No, that's not a double down? I lost all my chips. Well, let's see how that works out for you. This simply will not do. You must leave immediately. Glad you can make me rich. So now we have 41,000 caps. Snow globe, the strip. 
very important pickup. Uh, so we already have as much money as we need to fuel basically the entire game. Uh, we have arguably the best weapon in the game, uh, which we now have the weapon strength requirements to also wield. It's also a sniper rifle. So if I just test this here, uh, she's she's just been reduced to mincemeat. Should be able to one-shot the Securitrons now too. Yep, yep, no, I can one-shot them too, so they're no longer an issue. Hey, right, and we've now killed all the security on the strip. Just to give you a taste of Oppenheimer's uh, power. Uh, but we're not going to snap and kill all the, the inhabitants here. Because we can actually make our character stronger. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. The reason we made our endurance seven is for every point of endurance, you can take one implant in your body. Stronger. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4,000 caps. And the reason we went to the casinos is because these are really expensive. So all of that gambling money is now going to permanently enhance our character from the start of the game. Make me more perceptive. Uh, we are going to be increasing our endurance too. We're not going to boost our charisma because it's, well, it, it's charisma. But I want to be more intelligent. Uh, enhance my agility. Crucially, you can make yourself luckier. So we now have 10 luck. Have a seat in the auto dock. We're gonna make our own luck. I think subdermal is just strictly better because it gives you more armor. You can just use food to heal and stuff like that. And we're probably not, we probably just want more armor. That one's 8,000 caps as well. Because we made our endurance seven, our special stats are now through the roof. You wanna see a fraction of the wet of its power again? Clinic guard? Oh, he's pretty strong. Oh, the doctor. No. <laughs> he had enough armor to resist. It's okay if you get him in the head. <laughs> also, every most of the time when we kill someone, they will violently explode now. <laughs> like that is what's left of the doctor. But we don't have the need to kill these people. Oppenheimer is a reserved man. You know, and uh, uh, like violence just ain't his style. He's at one percent of his power. I should really fix my arm too. I don't think she could do that. Uh, but I mean, I could buy some doctor's bags and uh, put them away for later. I have a laser rifle. <laughs> I, I have some more laser rifles. You want a flamethrower? <laughs> and then you pay me for that. Thank you. Ten thousand caps. Take care. So you remember those deck claws that gave us trouble? You want to try him again? Dan, your arm. Oh, fix the arm. Sorry, I'm finally fixing my arm first. Let me. Oh, how much damage do you think this will inflict the easy Pete? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he didn't have time to even say bastard. We're finally ready to start playing Fallout New Vegas. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. I think I got him. Now, if, if anyone comes into the stream, right? And this is important from this point on. Don't acknowledge all the character planning we've done. And simply introduce the streams that he that just started right playing. <laughs> Every limb from their body exploded. Remember, the sneak. Press left control. I've never played New Vegas. How far into the game is RT? Yeah, we just we're just doing the tutorial quest. Yeah, you haven't missed much. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. When oh, you I really shouldn't show. have. I'll... I I teach about That's gonna make quite a difference, Sonny. Me... Okay, I I really want to see how much it does to a deck claw. <laughs> I really want to see. Oh. It will take him out, though. And if we get lucky with a crit, it'll kill him more. <laughs> oh, my head! <laughs> okay, a little bit of work to go. <laughs> what has he been doing the last four hours to be still at the tutorial? I, I've been having a real tough time. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. See what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. He's so formal. Hey, yeah. 
We're actually taking quite a bit of damage from them. It's because we're just in ordinary, like, dress clothes. We're not wearing any armor right now, you know? Don't think she made it. Well, let's give him a proper burial. Hit that other guy on the way down. Sorry I tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there, after I deal with you. Barton, you picked the wrong man to cross. Really bad idea, bud. <laughs> really bad idea. And that's the Oppenheimer playstyle. We'll try and be nice, but when they cross us... Anyone else? Right, let's just uh, switch out to our trusty f pistol. Our day-to-day -day job, you know. Don't need to go too crazy here. Loot his rib cage. Hey, examine damaged robot. The advanced ball robot with a reinforced frame. It's well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. It's very little in the way of serious damage. Try to fix it. Three scrap metal, two sensor module, and some scrap electronics. Should be able to find that kind of as we go. I'm a trader primarily. For what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. So this is this is a huge background for your character that we're not gonna see really explored for quite some time. Gotta say hey to an important oh, oh, character here. Please. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cow poke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! He's amazing. I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Is that guy good? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. I'd, I'd like some casserole, please. Does sound good, don't it? Oh. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? You failed the assignment. Ruby, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask for the casserole again. Oh, Let's not do that. That's the intrusive thoughts. Okay, well still, the main reason we're here, I mean, you can clear out the lucky casino if you want. Uh, we're just here for this dude. Behold, it's Eddie. Eddie has given you the enhanced sensors perk. Uh, so this is Eddie. This is a companion you can have for the game. Doesn't talk much. Uh, but specifically, while Eddie is a companion, the player can detect enemies at an increased range. Additionally, enemies will appear on the player's compass and can be targeted in vats even when cloaked. Uh, this is going to help us even more for killing people. We're going to be able to work out where they are before they can work out where we are. You can also make ammo. He's pretty much the best companion in the game. Another amazing thing about him, he has a little jingle he does when he enters combat. Give him a hand. Happily take that. <laughs> Daddy, Jesus Christ, dude. You can't just do that. Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> You tried to run away instead of fighting at my side. I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I've never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it, you lead the way. 
You have been persuaded by Oppenheimer. That wasn't Eddie, was it? No, you're okay. I think we got him. <laughs> don't want to cross Oppenheimer. You really don't. He will... He will mess you up. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's you were no You were useless. Friend. Sheriff Beagle, I just need to check something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, carry on. This is who we need. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Uh, do you want to be sheriff? You can also get Prim Slim, but I think um, if Prim Slim is appointed sheriff, I think it's a bad ending for the town. Uh, because Prim Slim is not able to save it uh, when there's like an invasion or something. And like everyone just suffers. I think Prim Slim is the best choice of all still. Okay, hey, how, how much science do I need? Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Uh, is that, uh, Myers, uh, I know we just talked about you running the town, but I found a more suitable candidate. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. What's the problem now? The problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. Slim's all right. I don't wish him no harm, but the law to him is a set of logic. Not everything is black and white. I'm not sure a robot can ever understand that. Beagle, I think I've had it with your slander. Ruby, no! <laughs> okay, maybe we shouldn't kill him. Because <laughs> Grandma's not gonna make it. Grandma gets real upset. What in the goddamn? Seems you need to work in your marksmanship. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. We don't have the checks here. Why don't you help me find where the sweet is? We need to we need to level up work on Oppenheimer's charisma. It is it is somewhat lacking currently, but our speech is getting there. The eyes of the mighty Kaiser are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby You know? I think we go back. Because there's a cooler thing you can do with this. Just pretend that didn't happen. The reason we're going to ignore him right now and actually not talk to Benny is if we wait, you can do a real cool, like, play and bolt factions thing. Basically, you could do every NCR quest in the game, kill almost the entirety of the Legion, and then it's okay. But you have to wait, and you have to wait if we're confronting Benny. So we're going to just let Benny exist a while. Uh, welcome to the Lucky 38. First person to set foot in here in a while. This is why... We can get the golden boxing gloves. Well, this meeting has been a long time in coming. Longer still since you took time to charge into the tops before coming to see me. You're just- What the hell are you? <laughs> One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Not interested. I'll see myself out. You have an interest in this, whether you like it or not. You signed a contract to deliver the platinum chip to me. I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Raise your price or your chip out of luck. Is that an attempt at humor? I've got some snow globes for Mr. House's collection. You do? Well, Eight thousand bottle caps. Every the snow collection. globe is worth two thousand bottle caps, and because we've made it to the lucky thirty-eight, we now have our own presidential suite. So we have basically our own apartment here that we can just kind of hang out in. You can tell companions to kind of go and wait here, and they'll kind of just like hang out. Bathroom's a bit, a bit weird looking. It looks haunted. Yeah, it kind of feels haunted, doesn't it? Uh, crucially. There is a display stand, so you can see them all together. House is lowballing us for the chip. House is giving us a thousand 
caps for the most like important piece of like computer software in the entire Mojave. But a snow globe of good springs, well, we gotta reach deep for that one. Hey, you there. I have a oh. message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Okay, thanks. So this one is another reputation reset. I think only takes effect when you actually get to the embassy. I don't know if that one like uh, kicks in immediately. Because I'm kind of worried now because we got to do some Legion questing at some point. It kicked in immediately. Okay, then we might need to... We might need to just reset again. <laughs> Is that, you know, actually, Mr. House and all that, it was but a dream. No, we'll, we'll just meet him later. I want to go to the Robco factory, which is out here. Because basically what I want to get is significantly more microfusion cells. Oh. Something bad happened here. I'd like a tour. Excellent. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show oh, your back thank you. make your way out of the building. No worries there. You have been warned. Please vacate the premises or you will be considered an... Wait, I'm... I'm just taking the tour. Oh, it's because it's too late at night. Hang on, let me... Let me just stand here 14 hours. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Luck 7, ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. We're okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have power armor train, and otherwise I would love to just take these and sell them. Mission holotape. But microfusion cell 43 is huge. This... You go down where the floor fell in. This is how you get the Q35 matter modulator. Which is a unique plasma rifle. Uh, it's actually very strong if you build in the plasma build. But more importantly, this is where all the microfusion cells are. And we now have over 400 ammo. I want to try kill a Decla. <laughs> I just want to see if I can do it. One. Okay, Eddie. Eddie's in trouble more than anything. Eddie, we shouldn't have brought Eddie. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> we shouldn't have brought Eddie. That's two. That's three. Eddie, Eddie, you gotta back up. Eddie, you gotta back up. You gotta back up, Eddie. <laughs> we lost Eddie. We lost Eddie. The fight can't continue when Eddie's no more. Okay, hang on. Eddie, we're simply gonna send him home. Oh, that was too slow. Uh, hello! We died so hard that not only did my computer crash, but Windows launched an update and it wouldn't let me stop it. And I just had to sit tight and let it happen. We died so badly that Windows update ran.